Hey morning everyone, it's me, Eric FNP. Welcome to the channel. Today we'll be doing a voiceover bike review on my Scott Spark Contesta 930 Alloy 2020. So this is the path that I normally take to do a ride review because it's got simple sections, your nice ups, uh, nice straights, two or three sections that are down and after which there's certain ups as well at the end of the sections of the, the trail and after which finally it goes bombing all the way down. So this is, this is the first climb up and just to give you a brief um, description of the bike itself, it's actually got the I Minion mean, SS at the rear and a DHR, DHR2 at the front and you can take a look at the other videos I will try to see if I can link it up here on how the bike actually is. Um, this trail itself is actually dry at a time of video and as you can see the climbing is quite the slow climb. The low climb is actually quite you know doable. It's not that uh, painful on the bike and this is the very first down shot down quick section actually and uh, this is leading towards a full-on straight road at the end of the day as you can see the many hikers so this is a shared, shared trail in Singapore one of the few uh, shared trails in Singapore and right now we'll be going up on this trail so the feel of the bike itself is actually quite how do I say it? interesting it's a size large and I am 175 centimeters tall um, it feels quite nice it doesn't feel off the geometry on the Contessa may be quite fitting for me. Um, it could be because of the, you know, the fact that I'm Asian, so the geometry itself is actually quite nice. And the bike itself does not feel as heavy as you may think. This full setup, which is with the uh, Hope wheel set as well as um, E13 rims and carbon, a little bit of carbon on the handlebars as well as the crank set. Uh, this actually adds up to only about 14.3 kilos uh, for a size large aluminum, not too bad. Front fork using SR Sun Tour Exxon, that's only 1.9 kilos. So going back to the trail itself, some more climbs over here and um, as I mentioned, it's okay to climb on this bike. It's not exactly um, very sprightly if you ask me but it is still doable. Uh, personally I like the combination of Minion SS rear as well as the DHR2 up front. Uh, it's actually very comfortable to ride. It, it, it gives a good enough um, feel on the bike. Uh, so this is a very small section downhill. Uh, very very small and it's actually quite loose on that day right so it actually can give you a lot of um, speed downwards so this part is actually just a straight path ahead and uh, moving forward there will be a first uphill section which is quite mm, painful sometimes but I think I did quite okay on this one let's see So here we have it, the first climb on the Bukitima Trail and I think I was doing alright. Uh, it was quite dry that day so it actually was a very good 
um, gave a very good grip to the tires and I think overall the feel of the bike climbing up is actually not that uh, bad as I mentioned just now uh, it's actually very uh, comfortable to climb it wasn't you know, painful then again it's 130 uh, fork up front and 120 rear travel at the back so being a down country bike I'm assuming that it should be able to climb and later up in front you'll see that it's actually quite nice for the bomb drops as well so the first section here will be the first section of um, downhill the open patch As you can see just now, the downhill sections was quite dry, so it's actually quite fun as well. And it was very planted, it didn't feel like the bicycle was uh, struggling to go on that slight fast downhill section. You may not call it a downhill, but here in Singapore, it's considered as a downhill. <laughs> Singapore is a flat country. So that part just now when we were going down, all those uh, section of the rocks and roots, it was doing very well. So let's see how we are going ahead with the upcoming climb in the front. So this climb section in some of the other ride review videos had me struggling but this time around I was doing it pretty well. Maybe because of the gentleman in front that gave me the spur on on you know on the ride up. You know, not me being maybe not wanting to lose out to the gentleman in front. So how does it feel on the climb, on a steep climb like that? It felt okay. I'm um, not going to say perfect. I'm not going to say good. And I just say it okay. That's because of the fact that it did give me a little bit of a uh, momentum moving upwards. Uh, it was actually quite pleasant to climb up. It wasn't painful. And I also had the ability to lock out my rear suspension so that helped as well on the Scott twin lock system and after which that also tightened up my front fork because the SR Suntour Exxon that did not come with the bike I bought that extra was able to be locked out as well so the twin lock did help to be honest and I guess that's where maybe that few seconds or uh, that less of the bicycle bolt helped me climb the slope even better. 
So moving along ahead, now we are about to meet the end of the section, the last stretch of the Pukidima Trail. And that is just pointing downwards all the way. And just take a look at the video itself. The bike is actually very planted when it's going downhill. It actually feels really sturdy, very stable. It's not wavering at all. And I think it's the submission of all things. A nice weight to the bike, you know, nice tires, good geometry for me personally. So I guess overall, it felt really stable. And there you go, ladies and folks, um, that's how I feel of the Scott Contessa 930 2020 and I feel overall it's a pretty good bike. It goes up good enough and it goes down fun surprisingly. Well thanks for watching this quick review. Like my video, subscribe to me and hopefully in the future I'll be doing more right reviews on other bikes belonging to myself or my friends. Until then, take care. Have a good one.